In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to reclassify, which is another skill that we use with raster data. I'm going to reclassify this slope tack into just three areas little to no slope, moderate slope, and steep slope. To do that, we'll start with our catalog, go to reclassify. The input is slope tack. The value field is already set and then reclassify or excuse me classify. In the classify window it should be manual. If it's not set it to manual and then we, since we have right now 10 we're going to change it to just 3 by clicking. Notice how I hover the mouse over one item click on it and then delete break. Another way to do it is to well we'll just do it this way. Delete break, I click on it, delete break, delete break. So that I'm left with three. From there, take break furthest on the left and slide it so that you get it about 7 in this window. Once it's close to 7, you may click on it, change it to 7, click on the next one, change that to 15, and leave the final one at the very end. Do not select this item. If it changes to 23, 49, and 100, you know you've got it wrong. Turn that off by leaving it clear. From here, in this window, I'm going to say OK. And now I'm back to the window, the reclassify window. I'm going to name this slope tack reclass 2 because I've already got one. And that's 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm going to have to do RC2 because I don't want to have too many characters. And say save and then OK. It happens in about a second. Click close. The next step is to classify our classifications with the right colors. We'll go back to a green to red symbology. First one we'll make green leaf green. The second one will change to yellow. The very third one, oops, I did it for all colors, Mars red. And then in the label, let's change this to little to no slope, moderate slope, and steep slope, and apply. Click OK, and this is what our map should now look like. Just to tidy this up a bit, I'm going to turn off slope tack, change my hill shade to a different color, Un undo graphic view, and choose brown light to dark, and then invert, apply, OK. If I turn off slope tack RC2, we see that it looks about like it did in lab 7. And then let's add slope tack RC2 and change the transparency. Let's try 80%. That looks pretty good. On some monitors, 82 looks nice. 85, or you can go down to even as low as 60 ish. Whatever looks good to you, I would say a little bit higher than that on my screen. I'm going to go up to maybe 80, and I like that, so that's where I'm going to keep it. 
And that's how you do a reclass and then symbolize it in ArcMap.